Welcome back, Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. We have a speaker repair and a speaker stand build this time for you. We didn't really repair the speaker. We re-veneered the box, the cabinet. These are Tannoy Lancasters, which is a very high-end audiophile type speaker. This particular pair was made in the 1970s. And with that, the veneer gives up after a while. It just gets old. It gets beat on. Uh, these are not left outside kind of thing. It's not what you would do with these. But they are well worth restoring. And our customer found us. And he says, hey, can you do this? And not being bright enough to say no, we said, sure, we can. So that's what you're after there. Um, the trick with these is you're going to have to scrape that old veneer off and get as smooth a surface as possible. So that's what we did. But And the damage was uh, significant here. The cabinets themselves are plywood. This is a walnut veneer. Uh, we'll never be able to match this precise finish on this. That's not really what we do. But uh, we can get pretty close. Here was a busted corner off the top. We do have some filler that we can use to remold that and shape it. And you can see the top there is an MDF while the sides are plywood on this box. These, each of these speakers weighs about 50 pounds. So they're, they're substantial. Here's our new veneer on the sides. That's a walnut veneer. You can't really sand these things down to get a good, even sort of look on them. So in this particular instance, we went with uh, re-veneer the entire cabinet. And it worked out well. And since we had the pair, we could do them both at the same time and make sure they both came out looking very similar. And then once you get a little bit of finish on there, these things look wonderful. We got around to touching up the grills later. I know that, that bothers me looking at that picture a little bit like that because it's got that. But anyways, hey, we got to it. The point is, the veneer went on really well. We cleaned up everything. There were some trim pieces we had to make to go around there. We never did take these things apart. We didn't open up the back or anything of that nature, which would have been a good way to go about restoring the grills, but... We had to do those by hand, just touching up. Well, hell, everything is done by hand here. So that's about all you can do with them. We were quite happy with these. Our customer guy was quite happy with these. And you can see why. Look at that. They're gorgeous. This is why we like working with wood. And this is how the wood shop stays open. People find us, and we say, yeah, and we just attack it. So then, of course... After a couple of months, he asked, can we build some speaker stands? Well, sure we can. So we got some walnut. He dictated he wanted five degrees angle on these things. So we had five degrees of angle, and we already knew what the base of the speaker was going to be. So our dimensions were set. So we got some four by four posts, put them inside of some walnut, and we splined our corners. Um, whenever you do a a miter cut on the corners, it's not typically strong. Now we have enough strength here because that post is there. And you can see we've rabbited in the edge so that we could drop that into place. And that worked out really well. These come out real pretty. Between the black and the black and then the black walnut and then the maple splines that go in the corners to add some strength. Ah, oh, terrific. He was happy enough. He had us make another pair for him later for his other set of tannoy speakers. The weight of these speakers is sitting primarily on the post. So, there we go. And here's the speaker. He sent us this a shot from inside his house, and that's the speaker sitting on top of the stand. Yeah, we appreciated that. As I say, he was pleased enough with the work that we did that he had us make another set of stands for another set of speakers he came across later. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's for another set of speakers the same guy has. He has some JBL, high-end JBL speakers. And he says, can you make me another set? And I said, sure. He said, I want them to look different. You decide. So I said, okay, I'll decide. So here you go. We laid it out. We knew the dimensions of the base of the speaker. Again, he wanted five degrees of angle on that. I said, okay, good. 
So we laid it out to get to figure out where we needed to be, and we cut it all and shaped it all. Again, this is walnut, and we ran dados inside our posts to bring these things together. Here you can see the dado with our, with our side rails uh, tucked inside of them. This is before we put the finish on, I think, here. And uh, we cut them, obviously, so that they're perpendicular to the ground. I notice here that we're looking at the back side of our speaker stands on this one, and you can notice that they're a little bit taller than the rails. So when the speaker sits on there, if it were to slide backward, it would catch on that rail. That's how we keep the speaker in place. The speakers were meant to ride on top of these rails here. I think uh, our guy um, eventually put uh, a board across that that just made him feel better rather than have them essentially float up there. Although they weren't going to float, the speakers are plenty heavy. Here you can see how we set them in. Got them at that five degree angle that he likes. And it worked out really well. Again, uh, you know, West Hills Wood is a hobby shop. We just are, we just accept jobs. Guys say, can you make me one of these? And we say, yes. And that's what we do. So if you have a hobby shop, you know, be sure to just keep taking on little jobs, and pretty soon everything comes your way. Now there you can see, this is the bottom of that JBL speaker for that set of uh, stands that we just made. And then here they are side by side, well, two pictures side by side. One on the left, we restored that entire cabinet and made the stands for them. The one on the right, we just made the stands for. And they worked out well. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe, Send beer. Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood.